about 32% of our electricity comes from burning coal. Another 32% from burning gas. And just 2% from oil. That's two-thirds of our electricity generated from fossil fuels. One alternative is to use nuclear fuel like uranium. It already provides us with 30% of our electricity. We need to look for alternatives. At the moment, the remaining slice of electricity, just 4% of the total, is generated by using less harmful energy sources. So what are they? For a start, is there anything else we can burn? Well, this cheeky chap is a bit of a clue. No, you can't burn chickens. Something that chickens produce. And I don't mean eggs. The fuel that they use here at Fibrogen Power Station is chicken litter. That's chicken poo to you and me. The chicken litter is a byproduct of the poultry industry and it arrives by the lorry load from local farms. It contains wood shavings, straw and chicken droppings. From here, it's picked up by a crane and transported towards the furnace. The temperature inside is an incredible 850 Celsius. This makes sure that any bacteria in the chicken litter are destroyed and turns water in the boiler pipes to steam. The steam turns the turbine at this end, which in turn turns the magnet at this end, and that's how you get electricity. Burning 30 lorry loads of chicken litter a day can produce enough electricity to meet the needs of 13,500 homes. The generator at Fibrogen works on the same principle as the one at Drax. It's just a lot smaller and the fuel is a bit more unusual. The best thing about this place is that much less harm is being done to our environment. You see, the fuel it's burning isn't adding any extra carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Chicken litter is digested plant material and those plants took in carbon dioxide to grow in the first place. So burning the litter simply returns that carbon dioxide back into the air. Good day. Thankfully, for the workers and people who live nearby, it isn't too smelly. A clever flow of air through the plant means the nasty odours are contained in the fuel hall. So Nick, you're the plant manager. What are the disadvantages? The disadvantage is that the, the availability of chicken litter is limited, so the size of this type of station is limited, although we could burn other biomass material. Any organic material that can be used as a source of energy is known as a biomass fuel. It's a serious alternative to burning fossil fuels. Fibrogen UK is one of several biomass power generators dotted around the country. One of the most obvious biomass fuels is wood. Willow and eucalyptus trees are ideal because they're fast growing. Farmers cultivate and harvest the trees like any other crop. And Britain's first wood-fired power station is now in production. Other schemes don't just burn biomass, they burn all kinds of household waste too. All these fuels are renewable, which means there's an endless supply, so we won't run out. What alternative fuels are available near you? If you live out in the countryside, could food production or farming provide a useful fuel? If you live in a town, maybe the waste from local industries or household rubbish is the answer. Whatever fuel you choose, you'll have to think about the sort of gases that might be produced. Look for alternatives that have as little effect on the environment as possible. <laughs>